Jeremy, thank you. Well, the future of the Tri-Cities own rookie class professional baseball league, the Appalachian League, has been uncertain for a while now. But now, a new format is finally going to be announced by Major League Baseball. Fans excited the league is here to stay. Ashley Sharp breaks down the changes we know so far ahead of an important news conference later today. Good morning, Ashley. Hey Sydney, Casey, good morning. Happening today at noon, we are expecting an announcement from Major League Baseball and USA Baseball about what the Appy League will look like moving forward. But from what we do know right now, there certainly are a lot of changes in the works. For the Appalachian League, empty seats will once again be filled with fans. Even before the pandemic, talks to cancel the Appy League were in the works, but now a return, except for next summer. That same feeling will come back again. And, uh, you know, baseball is baseball, wherever you're at and, and whoever's playing it, but uh, the purest will, will come back. The Appy League transforming from minor league affiliates to now a collegiate wood bat league, a summer program for the nation's most promising college freshmen and sophomores. You're, you're going to get some of the best college players in the country uh, from some of the premier programs and guys that you see in the College World Series. They're going to be coming to Johnson City and Elizabethan. Going forward, the Appy League will only be affiliated with the MLB. MILB will not be a part of this restructuring. Now, it is our understanding that the Appalachian League has been the only league that was selected to be in this premier wood bat league, which, you know, that tells us that, you know, uh, one, it's an honor to be selected, and also it tells us that Major League Baseball it does see the value of the Appalachian League. It certainly beats the alternative, which is no baseball in those in those ballparks. For the cities who could have lost these teams altogether, like Johnson City, Greenville, Bristol, Kingsport, and Elizabethan, the economic impact is huge. Approximately $2.8 million uh, per year for the local economy. But moving forward, it's a fresh start for the local league, hoping to knock it out of the park. We're, we're back. You know, we are back and we've just got some details to iron out. Uh, we've already been in communication with a lot of our fans, a lot of our sponsors that's wanting to come back. So uh, that's the message. You know, we're, we're back. So another exciting thing to come of all of this is that these teams are going to have a chance to rename and rebrand as they are losing that professional affiliation. So where you have the Johnson City Cardinals, the Bristol Pirates, now those names are going to change. So you could see something come down the line like maybe the Bristol Racers, perhaps. So it'll be interesting to see what those teams come up with and really how the future of this league is going to move forward. It's an exciting time and again we are expecting more details on what this is going to look like to come at noon today. Sydney Casey. Thank you very much, Ashley.